humanoid robots, 3D printing that defies gravity, more 3D printing, and a Raspberry Pi that went for a ride in the sky. It's the last day of May. I'm Daria, and this is the Redheaded Geek Show. <laughs> This might seem silly, no it doesn't, but who wouldn't want a robot to grab you a beer from the fridge? Hey, it's nicer than asking your girlfriend. The ambitious goal of scientists from Cornell University's robotics lab have developed a PR2 robot capable of anticipating human actions. It is equipped with Microsoft's Kinect and a database of 3D videos to recognize objects as well as human actions in order for it to anticipate the next set of actions. As seen in the video, if you happen to be picking up your mug, the robot acknowledges this and awaits for you to put it back down before serving you. How nice! The AI involved is kind of like Google predicting your search based upon a few letters typed. In this case, the dude watches you and comes up with hypotheses about what you might do next. Not only for pouring beer, this humanoid robot is hoped to be a step towards caregiving for the elderly or injured in the near future. In addition, it is suggested that the more natural a robot is at performing a task, the more comfortable humans may be with them. A company called Material built a device that can 3D print material upright, on a wall and other manners that defy gravity. 3D printers today, of course, melt tiny strands of plastic layer by layer on a flat tray. Material can print this way because as the thermoset polymer is coming out of the tube, it is immediately drying. This reminds me of a device called the 3 Doodler, a pin that does similar work but on a smaller level. Another aspect that differs from other printers is Material's robotic arm can move in any direction during the printing process. As you can see, the natural curves it makes broadens the possibilities for projects. The company also claims the printer can create multicolored objects simultaneously by injecting the dye mid-strand. This might turn into a new trend for 3D printing techniques, hope to eventually fabricate usable architecture or furniture. We have all heard of 3D printing body parts becoming real, right? Well, materials such as ceramic powders and titanium are now being utilized to build artificial body parts that can be replaced on humans in need. This is so complex and the first in existence. Amazingly, doctors working on regenerative methods are using 3D printers with cell-based ink in addition to other cultures to create organs and tissues for patients. It is said that when the printed tissue is kept in an environment similar to what would require for an animal, it naturally would allow itself to grow. Just last month, the first fully cellular 3D bioprinted liver tissue was announced. Also, a doctor from Cornell University recently made news when his lab successfully printed a human earlobe. Apparently, it is said to be easier because cartilage does not require blood supply. While tissue printing has yet to be used on a human, its current function is for drug development and disease modeling. Going even further, some companies have shown interest in similar processes for large-scale production, such as meat, leather, and other materials that could possibly become a mainstream, cruelty-free, and sustainable technology. The Raspberry Pi is one of the most flexible and imaginative little computers for people to experiment with. Over the weekend, self-titled armchair astronaut Dave Ackerman sent a Raspberry Pi computer out and let it travel in a hot air balloon, calling it his Pie in the Sky project. He made a foam replica of the Pi logo, loaded it up with both a Pi and newly released 5 megapixel Pi camera, and shot it up into the upper atmosphere to capture photos of our beautiful Earth. The Pi snapped a photo every minute or so, flying above southern England and soaring for a good three hours before landing. After thinking the Pi landed somewhere unknown and lost, Ackerman was smart enough to put his phone number and tracking device on the inside of the thing. Therefore, he was reunited thanks to this man, Shone, who heard its crash outside of his house, with an amazing 70% of the balloons still intact. Then he checked out some of these amazing captures, saved as high resolution images on an SD card. With the help of the perfect amount of wind and good weather, the little guy flew around 29 miles above the UK. Beat that, normal camera. Survey time. 
Does anyone feel the need to have a robot grab yourself a beer? I personally think a fake human-like robot that doesn't even look like a person would creep me out. And my cat. The material. New possibilities for 3D printing. Not just stacking layer by layer anymore, eh? That is so old school. 3D printed body parts. Well, last week I mentioned 3D printed pizza, but 3D printed meats? Like from real tissue? What do you think about that one? What kind of unique things would you do with the Raspberry Pi? Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to comment below, like and subscribe, and catch me next Friday.